you everybody for being here. We're joined by Northwestern head coach Chris Collins. We'll start with an opening statement and then take questions. Coach? All right, thank you guys for being here. And, and obviously, before we get started, it's it's an honor to play on Veterans Day. Um, you know, for me, I've I've had an opportunity to be closely affiliated, you know, with the military for a long time. You know, with with being with my coach, Coach K, who's a West Point grad, and 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 have learned a lot about, you know, what makes the military so special in their service. So, you know, thank you for everyone for your service and and on your day. Hopefully. You know, our effort made you guys proud. I, I, I thought we had to grind this one out tonight. You know, it, it certainly wasn't our prettiest performance. Um, but I thought defensively we really did the job when we needed to, um, holding this team to 19 points in the second half. They have dangerous scores. You know, they we did not – I thought in the first half we did not do a great job of keeping them out of our paint. Uh, they had 20 points in the paint in the first half. We were getting spread out. Williams was really – uh, getting going, he had 15 at half, uh, and we knew he was a terrific player. You know, uh, watching him grow up here, playing at Bloom. But I uh, thought in the second half we did a much better job. I think he only had four points in the second half. Thought we did a really good job on Coit. You know, Coit got 32 points in their first game. You know, to hold him to nine points, and he only had two threes. He took 20 threes in their first game. He only shot five. So we did a really good job, really pressing up on him and not letting him get his shots off. And then, you know, we were opportunistic with with our scoring. Um, you know, I thought Boo had a couple really nice buckets when we needed it. I, I told our guys afterwards, you know, we faced real game pressure when it was 48-43. You know, we had the 10-point lead, 48-38. They came out of a timeout, hit a three and a score, five quick points. It was 48-43. You know, and we took a timeout, and I told the guys we're being tested tonight. And, you know, it's not easy to win at this level, guys. It's not – all these teams have good players. They have veteran guys. And if you're not ready to play at a high level, you know, you can lose to anyone. You know, and and you have to respect your opponents, and I thought we did, and we really dug down. You know, at forty eight, forty three, and finished the game on a fifteen to three run, and they only scored three points the rest of the game. So, a lot of good individual performances. Super proud of Ty Berry, um, double double. He's really been rebounded nine defensive rebounds. You know, which is huge. Um, you know, especially for us at times when you know we were doing a lot of switching. So Robbie was ending up on the perimeter a lot on their guards, and your our guards need. To to get in there and dig down and rebound the ball. So 11 rebounds for him. Continue to be impressed by Matt Nicholson's minutes. I thought first half it hurt us, his foul trouble. You know, he came in and got those two quick fouls. And, you know, I chose to kind of not put him in to, to save his fouls for the second half. And, you know, I thought he gave us 12 really good minutes there in the, in the second half. And just playing hard. He's being physical. He's being big. He's being opportunistic. And, and that's what we need out of him. So overall, it's a good win. Um, they all are. I want our guys to be happy about it. And and obviously now we get an, a great opportunity to, to go on the road playing the Gavit games um, against a, a, an all-new Georgetown team that, that has a lot of transfers and, and is much improved from last year. For Coach? Um, you guys definitely ran a lot through Robbie early offensively. How, how do you think you know bouncing the scoring output early second half especially kind of helped you guys open it up? Yeah, you know, we, we want to have balance. There's no question. You know, we know that Boo and Chase and – you know, Chase has had a little bit of a back issue the last couple of days, so he he wasn't moving. You know, you could tell he wasn't, you know, but he just gutted it out. You know, which I was, but but offensively it was it was a little bit harder for him because he didn't have his legs underneath him. So, you know, guys like Ty, obviously Boo, but then Robbie, and then I I just think you know Matt and Titus, you know, giving us 14 points at that position. You know, uh, you know our 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 things, and 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 as you see Julian continue to get back in there, I think he's a guy that'll be able to score a little bit more as well as. Brooks, you know, Brooks is a guy we need him to be in an attack mindset um, because he's got the ability. He's a scorer by nature. So, you know, I think as we continue to figure out kind of who we are, you know, we're still it's it's the second game of the year, you know, and so and we haven't had Julian. So you're you're still like figuring out rotations and how to sub and, you know, when to bring guys in and when to rest your guards and, and things. And, and I'm still very much in a learning process with this team. And I think hopefully over these next set of games, as if we can keep guys healthy, knock on wood, we can get into a, a really good routine of, of how we can get the most out of all these guys. So love. Yeah, Coach, you briefly mentioned about Julian. Is there anything you saw about him today, given that it was his first game of the year? Yeah, just impressed with his conditioning. I mean, he, he really was cleared for contact three days ago. 
uh, and was really off for close to three to four weeks. So any of you guys know that when you when you uh, when you don't get to exercise for three weeks, your conditioning goes really quick. So it kind of shows the level of athlete that he was. I really didn't have any preconceived notions how much he could play. I was hoping to get him ten to twelve minutes, if we could get him five six minutes a half, just with you know his lack of conditioning. But he was able to give us fifteen good minutes, and you know I think the more he plays, like he'll dunk. He got that two on one. You could see that's where not having his legs, him and Chase, Chase threw him the lob, and he kind of fumbled that one out of bounds. I mean, he'll dunk that ball, you know, once you give him a couple more weeks of uh, conditioning. So, you know, he's a big key. He can defend. You know, you saw he can get into the uh, gaps. He made a, made a shot early. He got fouled. He found guys. It's just another playmaking, you know, guard for us that, that is going to be really crucial to our success. Coach, it's not a lot of full court pressure from Northern Illinois today. Planning to do in, in practice and uh, moving forward to help your guys um, once they start seeing bigger, taller arms. Yeah, no, I mean you, you're you always can work on you know playing against presses. The thing I look at though is we only had eight turnovers. You know, so even though we might have gotten ourselves in bad spots at times, which we did, we took care of the ball. You know, and so that's what the film will be good for. You know, they were playing a little bit of that two-two-one press. They they were picking up full court at times. You know, thought even though you know we had one time we almost got a ten-second that I thought we were a little bit lackadaisical on that one. But for the most part, you know, I thought we attacked it pretty well. Um, you know, I'll take sixteen assists, eight turnovers. You know, that's kind of been a. a, a you know, kind of a standard in our program. We've always been a team that's really prided ourselves on taking care of the ball. And we need to. Like, we don't have the margin for error. You know, if we turn the ball over 20 times, we're not going to win because we're not, we're not, made, that's not our makeup. You know, we got to take care of the ball. We got to get good shots. And we have to be elite defensively. You know, I think our guys understand our identity with this team is our defense. And as we continue to evolve offensively, um, you know, hopefully that will become a strength as well. Middle. I want to ask about the sequence to end the first half. You called the timeout with like 20 seconds left. Um, what were your What was your thought process getting Boo Boo the ball and trying to clear Robbie Barron out of that space? Yeah, well, they were really sitting on Boo's right hand. You know, so if you, if you look, what we did is we kind of opened up the left side of the floor. You know, we they kind of call it a ghost screen in basketball terms. So I knew they were going to jump on Boo's right hand. You know, I was kind of holding that one in my pocket. Um, we had the lose it or use it, uh, use it or lose it timeout at the end of the first half. So I thought it was a good time to organize. I thought that would be a big time if we could get a bucket there, and uh, you know, kind of get some momentum. And and fortunately, the guys executed it really well, and the 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 lane opened up, and he went in. I think even dunked it, which uh, which was a first. So really good execution, and guys really paid attention. Uh, in the timeout, and, and we almost and we got a steal and almost scored again. So I, I was very impressed with how we finished the half. Any more questions for Coach Collins? In the middle uh, you guys are facing a Georgetown team, obviously with tons of athletic guards. I mean, they're maybe compensated for getting in the paint a lot. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, you know, you kind of mentioned how you struggled with that early on. How do you adjust to that come Tuesday? Yeah, I, I just think with every game, you know, you we have we have have now we've played a couple teams that have really tried to get out our, our scrimmage that we played early uh, in in the the secret scrimmages. We had a team that really tried to get after us. We've played a couple teams now that have really tried to get after us, and I think it's great great. Uh, great experience for our guys. I mean, it's one thing to practice it, but you can't really simulate it unless you do it in game situations. And again, like I, I thought we did a good job. I mean, I, I thought we did a good job with the pressure. I mean, we we have multiple guys that can handle the ball. You know, Chase is doing a much better job this year of being able to come back and handle and, and get Boo off the ball some. And again, I, I'll, I'll live with 16 assists, eight turnovers. I mean, if we're two to one on, on assist to turnover, we're going to put ourselves in pretty good position if we can take care of the ball like that. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you, guys.
All right, we're joined by Boo Booey, Ty Berry. Open it up to questions. Less there. Yeah, Ty, uh, you had a double double like ten minutes into the second half. I just want to know sort of like what did you think of your performance and sort of anything that changed from the past games today. Um, you know, I, I would just say I was just letting the game come to me and I was really focused on the defensive end tonight. Um, and then, you know, I feel like rebounds, you just, the, you, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And it just kind of sometimes just depends on where you're at. And so I, but I did feel like I um, was attacking the glass well um, and just was focused on our, our defense tonight. I guess for both of you, what was your thought process on like the end of the first half? Obviously, you, you had that awesome dunk and then you like chucked the ball over the, the, the basket and then goes in. Like, what was the locker room vibe after? Yeah, so we was pretty we were pretty fired up. I mean, that was my first college dunk ever, so uh, I was really fired up. We actually had got a steal right after, but I didn't know the the time was still like three point eight seconds. So that's why I kind of just cranked one up, and then he he got the rebound and shot it over the backboard. Yeah, and but, I actually I actually didn't know it was a rule that you can't shoot from behind the back. I thought if it didn't touch anything, it still counted. Yeah, but um, but that, I guess that's only in the NBA. Hey, but no, we were definitely fired up going into the locker room. You know, the guys were sharing sharing the joy after that dunk. So then we just knew we had to come out and play play harder in the second half. Right here. Uh, yeah, Boo, I, you had a kind of a, a slow score and start, but near the end of the second half, you really start to find your groove. Uh, what did you kind of change as the game went on? Yeah, I mean, so they were they were giving me uh, my floater, and, and early on I was I was kind of getting to my spot, but I wasn't I wasn't uh, take I wasn't being aggressive enough. Uh, so in in the second half, you know, the coaches and my teammates were telling me to you know get to my floater if they want to keep giving giving you all the space. You know, you just step up and, and shoot your floater because that's going to be one of our best shots that we can get. So I just got a little more aggressive towards the end of the game. Uh, they were in a drop cover, so I was just getting in the lane, trying to do what I can. I asked Coach this, but like you guys are facing a Georgetown team that gets to the paint pretty well. How do you guys kind of after tonight, like defensively, get ready for Tuesday? Um, I would just say, you know, we just get back in the lab. We we come back in um, tomorrow and and Sunday and Monday and just prepare prepare for this um, Georgetown team that we that we got coming up. Yeah, going off that, basically we're just going, you know, we're gonna come back tomorrow. Watch the film, you know, take away the good and the bad. But, you know, it's a super long season. It's only the second game. So, you know, we just got to continue to focus on us and our and our strengths and our principles and just lock lock in on defense and, and prepare for Georgetown. Talking more about defense, some of these guys in their last game had a crazy number of points. So you guys came to shut them down on, defense, on the defensive end, especially considering how they had you guys switching for so much of the game. Yeah, so we knew that, we knew that a couple of the guys – uh, can really get it going, you know. They're, they're good players. Uh, we knew that Coit, number eleven, he uh, took thirty shots last game, and he he had thirty one points. So we knew that he's he looks he's really aggressive to score. So I'm just trying to take him out the game and make him shoot really tough shots. Along with uh, Williams, we knew he likes to to drive and and get into the paint. Uh, we didn't do as as well as we should have in the first half on him, but in the second half, you know, we really locked in on the scout and. And, and we got the job done. Any more questions? That'll wrap us up. Thanks, everybody.